People that live deeply satisfying lives usually have a value system that they structure their life around. Hello, I'm Clarence. I'm the preacher. Of course, I'm here to advocate for the Bible. The world does offer a variety of value systems that you can structure your life around, but I don't think there's any that's better or God approved than that which the Bible offers. Now, I'd like to give you a couple of reasons why I prefer the biblical system. Number one, it's been around for thousands and thousands of years. The basic morality of the Bible goes back an easy 3,500 years of the time of Moses writing, or you could say all the way back to creation if you wanted to. And the basic values have not changed in some 6,000 years. Now, I kind of like that. I like knowing that when I get up in the morning, my value system is still going to be the same as it was when I went to bed the night before. I like the idea that I don't have to worry about new updates coming from time to time, and then I've got to learn a whole new value system. I like the idea that you can put in your time and effort and you can learn the skills of these values and they will be consistent from here on out till the day I pass away. That means we can really, really excel and hone and understand these things at a level that we couldn't if we were getting constant updates, let's say once a year and we had a new Bible issued to us every year, wouldn't that drive you nuts? You know, <clears throat> We can't get people to read the one Bible they have for a lifetime. Can you imagine what it'd be like to try to keep people up to date if they got a new issue every year? Not going to happen, is it? So I think you just have an awesome thing in there that you have something that is stable and it has been there for a long, long time. The newest parts of the Bible are 2,000 years old. That's pretty stable. I like that. So I'm going to advocate for the Bible clearly on that basis. Now, also, I think it's an unbeatable morality. I don't think you can find a higher level morality than what you find taught in the Bible. When he says, love God with all your heart, and then he says, love your neighbor as yourself, the golden rule, that's just awesome stuff. You really, you're not going to beat that. Now, some other people may imitate that, but you're not going to find a higher value than loving your neighbor as yourself. That's just pretty much the top of the thing. Now, I do have to make a little distinction here because I know a lot of ugly stuff has been done in the name of Christianity. There are a lot of bullies that hold up a Bible and proclaim to be teaching the Word of God, and they abuse people, and they manipulate people, and they are ugly. They are wolves in sheep clothing. They are the devil incarnate. But that doesn't mean the Bible's wrong. Just because love is abused, and love is abused, doesn't mean that love is wrong, right? And just because money is abused, doesn't mean money is wrong. And just the fact that the Bible has been abused, and it has, doesn't mean that the Bible itself is wrong. Those people who want to have a deeply satisfying life and want a system to build their life around need to ignore all that nonsense and drill into the Bible itself, get that good book, chapter and verse foundation, and really get to know the Bible firsthand, one-on-one. -on -one. And then when they build on that system, then they can pillow their head at night and know that they've lived a great day. They can have the expectations of living a great tomorrow. They can know where the boundaries are so when they do mess up, and we will because none of us are perfect, so we're going to stumble in many things, as James 3, 2 would say, but we know where we stumble, and that's great because when you know where you stumbled, you can go, okay, I need to correct that. Let me get back over here where I'm supposed to be. If you don't have a value system, it's possible to wander quite a far off and really not know where you're at. If you don't know where you're going, you'll end up somewhere else, as the wit said, and that's not a good thing to happen. So the value system of the Bible gives us some very clear boundaries, and when we get across those boundaries, it calls us back. And God is just awesome in this regard because God, regardless of what some preachers say, does not play strike one year out. God tells us to forgive one another as he and Christ forgave us, and then he would tell us to forgive one another 70 times 7 in a single day. What I'm seeing here is that God is willing to forgive you 70 times 7 in a single day. That's a pretty good deal. That's a nice value system. God doesn't want any to perish. He's wanting to bring us back in, keep us on his team, so that we can learn, we can grow, and we can develop, and we can become the children he desires for us to become. So that's all awesome. So 
I'm, I'm definitely 100% behind the biblical model, the biblical system of morality and living, because I know it's not just a fad. I know it's been around for 2,000 years. I know it's going to be around for the rest of time. I'm here. That's awesome. And I know that when I engage it, it will lead to that deep satisfaction, that spiritual progress that I'm looking for. It's just a great deal if you think if you think about it. So share this video with somebody if you think it would give them some encouragement, help them out a little bit, put your comments below. And as always, I hope you have a great day.